yeah, lessons of Uranus. They're trying to get this person to come out of this energy of being inconsistent, being in between whether they want to be in a commitment or not. They want this person to be with you because you guys are mutual. Symbiotics. You both want the same things in life. You both have the same shared goals and feelings. But this person betrayed you, so they have to get a little bit of karma for that. They want to guess their higher self. They know they love you, but they decided to sacrifice you and hurt you. Hey, beautiful souls. This is Magic, and this is going to be your general love reading. This is for the zodiac sign of Cancer. This is going to apply to Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node, okay? This is a predominantly a love reading, but if anything comes through, such as financial messages, health, or spiritual messages, I would definitely relay those to you. I always like to go a little bit deeper. I like to look at lessons and, um, you know, patterns, things that are coming to the surface for you to heal. All right, so um, this is a general reading. It will not resonate all the way through, but if you were guided here intuitively or if this video was recommended or... You just, you know, were attracted to the title. There's something here for you, okay? Um, cross watchers, you are most definitely welcome. Remember, messages can be interchangeable or reverse, okay? All right, so let's get started. I shuffled all my decks already. So we're going to connect to the collective of Cancer. I'm a Cancer Sun. I am a Cancer Venus, a Cancer Mars, Cancer North Node. So. Okay, I got a lot of cancer in my chart. So Team Cancer. Um, also, I want to do a cancer dedicated channel. Let me know if you guys might be interested in that. Leave a comment if you would like a dedicated cancer channel. Since I am a cancer, I feel like we need to have our own channel because we got our own little lessons that we're going through. Every zodiac sign has a specific path. And you, as a zodiac sign of cancer, are affecting the collective based on how you're healing it affects everybody collectively. Cancer, you're the mother of the zodiac, okay? So you're the keeper of uh, a lot of secrets. You are very intuitive. A lot of the, the water sign people, you guys, you filter energy, you filter emotions, transmute. But you have a special mission. So I think that I want to communicate with Cancer as a Cancer um, collective, okay? Um, collectively and on an individual level all right let's get started so we have door to spirit we have man holding a heart in reverse and we have community so you're dealing with a third party or you may have been there could be someone that you don't resonate with anymore i feel like a little bit of loneliness there could be a masculine that was lonely we have first chakra um someone's standing their ground and i feel like there is this um, need for you to feel secure to feel good about yourself some of you guys, this is going to resonate mostly uh, about the other person you're connecting to because the um, core energy is a masculine energy. We have community. Someone may be walking away from people um, or a relationship that doesn't serve. This card represents kindred spirits, some sort of partnership, usually in a business sense. But intuitively, I'm picking up that someone may have been connected to multiple people, family, friends in their community. I feel like this person is not resonating with the, these people anymore. Door to Spirit is an awakening. It's a new beginning, okay? But it's a spiritual card. It's about connecting um, to the spirit world, being guided to go down a spiritual path. Something about this um, connection was very spiritual for you. So it awakened you spiritually. Meeting this person, you kind of went towards a more spiritual type of pursuit career-wise. Or just in your personal life, you became more spiritual. You may have been kind of introduced into the occult, okay, so to speak. It could be broad. It doesn't have to be tarot cards. It could be um, some sort of uh, spiritual religious pursuit. Maybe your religious beliefs have changed. Or maybe you feel more disconnected from worldly things or the things that you once resonated with. And now you feel more connected to a different spirituality, a different belief system. You could could have been raised Catholic and now you're a Buddhist. You know what I mean? So it could be anything. Um, getting back to your roots, I feel. 
I feel like door to spirit is opening. The spirit has opened a door for not only you, but your person that you've connected to. I feel like a very catalytic energy here. Like you were a catalyst of change. So you coming into someone's life. I don't know if you guys saw how that card spinned, but it did a like a. I want to say a one eighty. Let's see. <laughs> okay, page of cups. Yeah, I feel like there was a rejection or there was some sort of broken heartedness or inner child wounding. And now you're coming into this new door. Okay, let's see what the bottom of the deck. Wow. So you have strong masculine. So this is a masculine energy. Some of you guys are connecting with an Aries, a Sagittarius, or a Leo. Okay. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Feeling strong sun sign. Okay. This is usually attributed to Aries. But I always look at this as Leo Cancer. Like a Leo Cancer cusp. So someone that is on the cusp or someone that um, maybe has the uh, Cancer sign in Vedic and then a Leo in um, tropical but it can be an Aries uh, an Aries I can't speak <laughs> Aries an Aries I'm also seeing the Queen of Swords some of you guys could be Gemin Gemini's Libras or an Aquarius Sun Moon or Rising okay or this person could be connecting to uh, an Aries sign or this could be you remember um, these court cards represent people in your life I, I read gender Okay, because I look at the pictures. There's, there's a woman and a man, right? But um, there are energies here that are saying that you may be in this energy, right? Even if you're not a man. So you could be not taking action um, or you could be angry, okay? But I definitely feel like with this King of Wands character could be someone that you were communicating with. He could have been the one that rejected you or hurt you. Um, or opened up some moon that has lead, led you to this path of of going towards spirit okay or letting spirit lead you um with the queen of swords energy you could still be holding on to resentment you could be bitter but or you could be wiser because of this experience this is clear clear thinking um logic okay reason discernment so you could be very um sharp right when it comes to how you relate to others Okay, or this person um, is connecting to a very cold woman, <laughs> right? So let's see. Let's get some more clarifiers on the King of Wands. Okay, Six of Cups. Definitely a soulmate, okay? Um, Eight of Wands and a Five of Cups. This person wants to communicate. This King of Wands. So you know, this is, a, this is someone... And if he's not a fire sign, he, he is someone that may have showed up in his negative um, uh, or a more shadowy vibration when you connected with him. So shadow, um, maybe he was going through a process of death rebirth and you may have connected with this person when they were in their shadow. And they may have been doing some extreme shadow work. Sometimes we do shadow work and we're not even aware that we're doing shadow work. Sometimes to do shadow work, you have to kind of... Um, merge with the shadow be comfortable with the shadow self so that you can um learn how to balance between shadow and, and your higher self right you can't you know you can't really learn if you don't go through you know it's like going through school and you have to start with elementary just you know to go up to college level so there's a learning process and part of the learning as human is to kind of learn the shadow right learn not to let the shadow run your life or not to stay in that energy but somebody was um definitely vibrating in the shadow and i'm feeling dark night of the soul yeah this is someone from your past with that six of cups yeah there's a transmuting of energy though okay this person's ancestors has been guiding them but this is my past life soulmate card so this is an ancestor you have past lives with this person many of them okay eight past lives karmic numbers here lots of yeah we have many cycles but one is coming to a completion um and then once that comes to a completion we have a renewal so a cycle could be coming to a completion between these two people um this um fire sign could be connected to an air sign person okay and if they're not connecting to an air sign they're connecting to a person um that may be a very controlling very cold detached if this is you and this person, um, you are becoming the Queen of Swords and you're cutting out the King of Wands energy, which is sometimes a promiscuous man, a non committal man, 
or a man that is very controlling, okay? I feel like an ending of a cycle is going to bring in a renewal, a new spark, okay? Um, I feel like this person does have the intentions of coming back because the Six of Cups and the Eight of Wands is letting me know that someone wants to come in and make an apology or um, bring back harmony to a situation. But someone does need to release something from their past. With the Five of Cups being in reverse, this is someone needing to move on. Crying over spilled milk. We have the Six and then we have the Eight and then the Five of Cups. So we have that. The Five of Cups is reversed. So this is about not crying over spilled milk, but seeing that there's two cups behind you. So this is about forward movement, the Eight of Wands, in order for progress to be made here. Someone needs to detach from a karmic soulmate or a soulmate. Um, that is a challenge, but the uh, but I see that they're going to do it with the Eight of Wands and the Five of Cups being in reverse. I feel like this person is going to walk through this door. I need more information about this King of Wands. And like I said, he doesn't have to be a fire sign. I feel like he's clear now with this Queen of Swords. He has discernment about people around him. We have a foundation. So this person could be in a relationship. Yeah, so he's in a relationship with the Queen of Swords person. Yeah, some of you guys have strong fire. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, okay? Um, this person may have a fire sign north node, or you could have a fire sign north node. So Leo, north node, Aries, or Sagittarius, north node. You will resonate. Okay, or this could be their person of interest. If you know this information, if you don't, you don't. Tell me about the Queen of Swords now, please. Who is the Queen of Swords? Now, if this is your energy, like I said, we have Autumn. Um, there's somebody, this person invested in this Queen of Swords. Okay. I'm also seeing Karma. We have the Spirit Guides here are trying to help. Either you, if you're the Queen of Swords, to detach or they're trying to help the masculine detach from her. Exactly what I was seeing. Yeah, so there needs to be some sort of boundary or someone is trying to resist this ending. It could be this Queen of Swords. She may not want this masculine to move on, especially if you're a feminine. Some of you guys may be um, closed off to this masculine and he sees you as the Queen of Swords. He sees you as very cold. I just showed you the cold card, but I... Kind of was moving a little bit fast. Yeah, I feel like the springtime is going to be a, the potential for a new offer, a new beginning. But one or both of you are in the stalemate or avoiding. Um, he's in the reverse. So let me see why he's avoiding. And then I'm going to move on to the man holding a heart. It's the same energy. They're both reverse. It's the same energy. Okay. Yeah, because of distance. See? He's still keeping his distance or he had ghosted you at some point. He had avoided you at some point. Um, again, some of you guys, it is a uh, air sign person that you're connecting to. Okay, you could be a masculine connecting to an air sign or there's an air sign involved, male or female. Okay. I feel like he's trying to distance himself from this air sign. I feel like this is a specific storyline. I try not to make them very specific because I know a lot of people are watching, but some of you guys are really going to resonate with this masculine trying to detach. Ace of Swords, clarity that he needs to retreat from something. I also see communication. So Mercury, um, Mercury is going retrograde, I'd soon. I don't know the exact date, but I think this month. But I think that um, Gemini is moving into Mercury or it's in his home sign. And this is indication of this. There's a lot of communication or information. And this information is not coming from the person of interest. It's coming from spirit. The door to spirit is about connecting with spirit. Spirit is giving you some sort of information. And it has to do with some sort of seed that was planted. I saw the harvest card. So something that you... And I saw the um, justice card, karma. I feel like you planted seeds. And you have been in this energy of retreat, waiting. Um, and your wait is over. If you've been waiting for some sort of reconciliation or if they've been waiting for the right time, it's coming. Tell me about this man holding your heart now. Strong air and fire here, okay? It's, it's coming out. I, I mean, I can't... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why it's coming out this way. But tell me about the man holding your heart in reverse. This one wants to come out. Autumn, see what I'm saying? Now, he could be reaping what he's sown. When I think about the harvest card, okay, metaphorically, it's a season in your life and your evolution. And for, ooh, I told you guys. 
I feel like he's invested somewhere. He has put a lot of time and effort, but there's a cycle coming to an end because autumn comes before winter. Winter ends the cycle, right? And spring is the new beginning. He's in autumn here. So he's looking at the harvest of his his um, actions, his decisions. Um, these are consequences and also benefits. But I feel like there's more consequences or more disappointment than benefits because he's in reverse. And his heart, <laughs> it feels like, you know, maybe he was, he maybe there's something with stability here. This is also harvesting um, the, what you, the seeds you planted. We see a seed. And we see a harvest. In the bottom of the deck, we see a third party. And then below it, or beneath it rather, we see the truth. Tell me what the truth is. What is going on with the third party? I need to know what the truth is. Okay, they're in a commitment. There's a contract. He's regretting investing. Look at what's poking out because of disharmony here. So a lack of compatibility, conflict, triggers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it. Okay, so I'm going to put these back because I think that this air sign is important. So some of you guys are dealing with someone. It could be a cancer. could be a fire sign. You could have strong fire in his chart. I don't feel like he's in. I don't feel like he has the willpower or the confidence to keep doing something. Or he hasn't had the confidence to let go just yet. Okay, but he's getting help. Spirit guy says we're helping here. Okay, but how does that help the feminine watching the video? Okay, wow. I'm trying to pick up the deck. And as I ask the question, this card stays behind. Okay. So we're going to make a mental note of this wish fulfillment card. I'm going to ask again. How does this help the person watching the video, male or female? Okay. Because you could be a masculine dealing with this air sign. There's winter. A cycle's coming to an end. I said that, didn't I? I said autumn, then winter. Okay. So he's assessing, reflecting what he has harvested. Now winter's here. There's a death, a cycle of death. And spring brings in the rebirth, the new beginning, new seeds, new intentions. Whoa. Okay. So it's just a rebirth. So what you're going to get out of here, get out of this situation or why you're, why is this being presented to you? Because there's a rebirth taking place. Um, and they're saying it's, um, you're lack, you, you're in this pro, um, cycle of lack. Okay. But you're going to come out of it. You're going to have a rebirth. You're not going to be in this cycle of lack of feeling like you're missing something or something's not. You're not getting the fruits of your labor or you didn't get um, your just due, whatever the case may be. Um, something's changing here. Tell me more about this man holding a heart. Again, I told you, spirit guides are helping with self-worth, value, helping this person to either see your worth or to see theirs. We have a breakthrough and epiphany here. Um, yeah, they're helping with uh, integrating into union with this person or them integrating into union with you. I dare say maybe ending a union. I want to throw a, a tarot card on assistance, spirit guide. They're helping with this reconciliation. I want to say third party. Okay. I want to know but there's the seven of pinnacles. Someone, there's the harvest. Someone's not happy. They've invested. They've, they've, uh, there's when I say invested, I'm talking about time, energy, money, resources, love, affection. But they're not happy. Someone's looking back at their their harvest. They're not happy. Uh, this is a card of impatience, but this is a card of mistakes and, and bad luck financially. Um, this is a card of wasted time. What else could I say about this card? Um, I mean, somebody's just reflecting and they're not happy with what they got out of a situation. I mean, it's also lack of growth. Something didn't grow. It could be a setback, a lack of reward. They don't feel like they got a reward out of this particular situation. Ace of Swords, again, that, that air element, clarity, truth. Now, this could be you too. You could be in a relationship with someone. You could have been investing and then you feel like there's a lack of reward. Maybe something was kept very friendly. You could have been friend zoned, male or female. There could have been a friends with benefits or there could have been other parties. I want to clarify the three of cups. I'm going to use my um, sacred soulmates to clarify it. Clarify the three of cups. What is this? What is this? So the, the assistance is about a three of cups. We have you need to trust the universe. You need to trust the plan. The plan is what? To awaken your heart and let love in. To be happy again. I mean, the three of cups is a happy card. Celebrating, enjoying life. Yeah, so you could be not happy 
right? You could be like, oh, I'm not happy. All the men that I meet, they're coming in as a man holding a heart in reverse, which is a non-committal man. It's a man that doesn't want to settle down or he has other parties. He's he's not investing in me. You could be disappointed with the, the lovers you connected to or the relationship you had with someone. You felt like you wasted your time. You felt like you didn't get the fruits of your labor. So you could be, uh, you know, feeling a certain way and the universe is saying, trust in us. We have a plan. Um, something's changing. Something's changing here. This card flew. Yeah, it's saying that you rejection was divine protection. So they're saying, to, don't worry. You were There was a rejection, but it was you being protected by the universe. Because whoever you were dealing with may have had another relationship. They could have been cheating on you if you were in a commitment with them or they would have, they were already in a commitment. There was a karmic contract to learn some sort of lesson. Yeah, one-sided. One-sided. And this could be this person. This could be your person of interest, this masculine saying, damn, I put all this energy into a relationship. I didn't get anything in return. I put all the energy in and my energy was depleted. Okay, and, and it says empathy, support. They were not equal, right? Ooh, okay. Okay, so spirit guides are saying, trust in us, we were protecting you, okay? From something. Maybe the timing wasn't right or you would have you would have regretted with the seven of pentacles, you would have invested time, effort, money with, with a past size soulmate or yeah, see feminine. Okay, I see you reflecting at your mistakes, respect reflecting on your past, and you're not happy. You're like, fuck this shit. Every single time I put my heart and soul into something, something goes wrong. And the universe is saying, forgive. Let it go. Um, it's a liberating choice to forgive. The, the man, I'm saying all of this because the man holding a, a heart card actually represents someone that doesn't have your best interest in mind. It usually represents a man that is having emotions. Like it, it's hard to, he's a person that is having a hard time with his emotions. Because this usually represents a man. So for a man, he's having a hard time. With his emotions, he's triggered. He doesn't know how to handle himself. So instead of him processing and doing the work, what he'll do is he'll escape through drugs and alcohol and addictions, or he'll just kind of avoid doing the work. He'll stay complacent. Um, so there's different things. He'll be in. It's a disharmonious energy. So you know, I would say hurt people hurt people, right? So this is a hurt person, a broken person. And you somehow attracted this, right? Not somehow, but for a reason, right? Contract, because it's a soulmate. And you got hurt in the process, but it gave you your own breakthrough. Because during this time, or this, you know, the time frame that you were supposed to learn this lesson, and it could be with multiple people, right? It could be with family, it could be with friends, that you're learning this lesson to value yourself. People are taking advantage of you. You learn your worth. Okay, good. So tell me about this masculine. What is he learning? <laughs> to surrender. Separation. So they pulled you away from him. So that he could surrender. Surrender into your heart and divine source. Where there is no separation. Okay. The highest level of love serve without conditions. He needed to surrender. That's why Dora Spirit is here. Because he didn't want to surrender. He didn't want to. He was in resistance. Right? Spirit is saying, we got, we're opening a door. We're bringing in something here. It's spiritual. It's, it's different. It's a different experience for you. But he may have been re in resistance to it. So they needed him to surrender. Tell me more. We have renewing, re renewing adventure, a return of passionate play. Community is healing. Laughter, travel, and new things can re-spark your love life. They're trying to bring in a different element of fun, adventure. His, his, idea of fun and adventure could have been you know <laughs> you know hoeing around drinking smoking doing drugs whatever the fuck he was doing right tell me about this masculine some more set your intentions high know that you deserve to receive love joy and happiness some of you guys this masculine just wanted to have fun okay and some of you guys this masculine is learning to love himself learning that he deserves better than whatever he has been getting some of you guys are learning, okay, I'm, I'm worthy. I'm worthy of more than what this master is willing to offer me. Because his heart is in reverse. He's holding it back from me. Why? Clarify. Okay. 
We have dreams, fantasy, illusions. And dreams is tied to the 12th house, which is the house of self undoing. Stalemate ain't taking no fucking action. Keeping the relationship in the stalemate, holding back. Now, what I want to tell you is that the universe is trying to bring in an epiphany from this for this masculine. They're trying to tell him that you, you are good enough, okay, to have happiness. You don't have to keep staying in this suffering. And feminine, you don't have to keep suffering. You don't have to keep thinking that you're going to attract another fuck boy. Or masculine, you don't have to keep thinking you're going to attract another fuck girl. You're, you don't have to suffer. You don't have to be in this cycle of lack. Walk through the door of spirit. Because we have something better. It can be a new person or you leaving behind a, a narrative or an expectation could open the door for you to see something from a different perspective. We have that someone wants another chance. Now, this could be you just doing things over, a reset, a restart, and doing things better than before. No longer accepting less than you deserve. No longer uh, dating people that are not good for you okay i'm just gonna keep it <laughs> i was gonna say something else okay but you're wanting a do-over in life in general you just want a fresh start but this could also be that someone wants another chance with you right someone's saying damn you know i'm having this breakthrough this epiphany now like i see her worth at one point i didn't really feel good enough okay or i didn't think she was good enough there was a lesson of pluto and now we're in pluto retrograde something's coming back around Patterns of power, control, and manipulation. And a, an intense push and pull, which is a runner chaser, hot, cold type of energy, right? Somebody's hot and cold. One minute they're all in, next minute they're not. You know, we have this possessive energy here, some sort of, you know, possessiveness, clinging, and, and attachment. Someone had to learn that. And, and there's third parties here. So there's also something stale in a third party relationship. So maybe someone thought something was going to make them happy. They're realizing it's not. They're wanting to have fun. They may, they're in a stalemate relationship. They're in a relationship with someone cold, clean of swords. Doesn't have to be an air sign. Okay. But it could be someone that they're dealing with that is a very cold hearted B I T C H, male or female. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And someone very deceptive. Okay, now they're having some sort of epiphany. They're realizing, okay, I got to separate. I deserve better than this. Okay, I, I was staying in this relationship for whatever reason, investing all my time, energy, resources, taking care of kids, right, taking care of the house and home, or whatever they were doing. It could be vice. It could be reversed. And now they're realizing that that's done. That cycle has to end. We have rebirth, but before the rebirth, a death must take place. Some of you guys are in a commitment. And your person has been cheating on you. Okay? Yeah. And Pluto says, it's time for you to let that shit go. <laughs> okay. Whoever's resonating with this. Okay? Or this is your person. So this is what I pulled out. Other people, external factors, drugs, alcohol, bitches, hoes. Okay? Bros. Family co-workers something um but there's a union here okay um and there's also other people affecting the union and then we have a fire energy ace of wands and then we have pluto now this could be a new start but i'm gonna clarify leo aries sagittarius this could be a male oh, you know, we already have a male on the table I'm gonna put him back in a dick <laughs> let's see what comes out for leo aries sagittarius some of you guys, this person has already detached from this person. They already ended the cycle, but they're still kind of um, stuck in this pattern. So they're saying that this person has already left this past life soulmate. For some of you guys, four swords, but he hasn't completely healed yet. Okay. He needs to come out of high isolation or he's, uh, he's in this energy of needing healing. He needs a break. Okay. He needs to properly heal after an ending. So some of you guys, your person has left someone, they're, they're single, okay, they're ready to mingle, or you guys are trying to build a relationship, but you notice that your person's being very cold, very detached, or you're realizing that the relationship is a little bit one-sided, he's not invested, or she's not invested, it's because there's still some healing that needs to take place. We have some with um, withholding of information, there could be temptation, there could be someone around them that's distracting them. Okay, but I also see that if your relationship has become stale, 
this ma this masculine it is it, it, he is withholding information about what he's going what's going on i see him in a tool source at a crossroads and then i see an empress somebody could be pregnant again i feel like some of you guys are dealing with uh commitment either you're committed to this person or they're already committed and then i see the queen of cups this is you <laughs> this is you girl some of you guys this is you this person has somebody and she might be pregnant. Not for it's not gonna be for everyone. And then I see the world card and a nine of wands in reverse. Someone needs to let go of something. Now, if this is not you, the Queen of Cups is a water sign, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Okay, someone rising person. I feel like someone wants to be single. I feel like feminine, I feel like you're in a relationship. Um, and you're feeling like you want more. You want more, and you're at a crossroad, you want to make a decision. With the Empress, I see you trying to manifest. I, I see a lesson being learned. Okay, with the Queen of Cups being in reverse, you know, it's a, it's a, it could be about you not listening to your intuition, no longer wanting to nurture a situation, no longer wanting to offer your love and your heart. But it could also be emotional instability. Clarify the Queen of Cups. Yeah, you're detaching. You're saying, fuck that shit. <laughs> fuck that shit. I can't do this no more. Right? Now, some of you guys are like, I can't do this shit. I, I can't be in a loveless relationship no more. I can't. World card. Not a wants Letting that shit go. I'm letting the struggle love go. I want to be single. Hermit. Okay? So you need to detach from something. The, the Hierophant is saying that your beliefs and values have changed. Empress and the Hierophant, please. Take off your blindfold. Yeah. Compassion. Compassion, nurture, something needs nurture, growth. You don't feel like you're getting it. Some of you guys are some sort of toxicity, some sort of pattern that needs to come to an end. Some of you guys, this is you letting go of a chip on your shoulder. This is you needing to see yourself in a different way. Like you're not even seeing that you have grown into the empress. Some of you guys don't even realize that you've become the empress. You're so stuck in this pattern of suffering, of difficulty, of lack, and, and, and feeling like life is so hard on you. Love is just so um, hard or out of your reach, whatever, whatever, you know, whatever you feel. And this is you needing to in a pattern, okay? This is a successful Mercury retrograde is at the end of the month, right? Can somebody tell me? Because I can't talk. <laughs> this is a successful completion of a cycle. This is about letting go, letting the chip on your shoulder go, letting the past go, not holding on to bitterness, um, letting go of the uh, defeatist attitude and seeing this situation as a learning experience and becoming wise after the fact. Now, this Queen of Cups could be the other woman and this person could be like, okay, I don't want to be with her because she's a cold-hearted B-I-T-C-H. She's manipulative. She's jealous. She's possessive. She doesn't have my best interest in mind. She's toxic. This could be someone else if this is not you, okay? I want to clarify the Queen of Cups. One more. Masculine. Masculine is thinking that you don't want to fuck with him anymore. You don't want to open up your heart. You don't want to be vulnerable. That's why you're in a reverse. Hell nah. Because you're the, you're the empress now. I want to, I want to open my heart. You, you don't broke it. Okay? You broke it. And I'm, I'm stitching my shit back together. You're not going to come in and try to mess with my heart again. So the masculine is feeling this way. Because we now have a man and a woman in reverse. Okay? She got a cup in her hand, but that's kind of like her heart. Right? That's the, the, the holy grail. Right? The Ark of Covenant for, for some of you guys. If you guys are into all the symbology on the card. Right? Something precious. Your heart is precious to you. He is wondering if can, can I can I penetrate her heart again? Can, will she ever give me another chance? So he's thinking. He's thinking. Some of you guys are thinking about the masculine. You can't get him out of your mind, and and you don't you you're and and, and what I'm saying is you can't get all the bad shit he did to you out of your mind. But spirit says you need to clear that shit. Clear that energy. It's it's creating um it's clouding your vision. That's why the Nine of Wands is in reverse. This is why the, the, the devil's in reverse. Detach from what was and, and, and show yourself and the other party compassion. That's not going to be easy. It's not an overnight thing, but it can happen. Okay, but why? 
why is all this coming up, right? That's what you want to know. So let's let's get to the um, third card here on the table. We have community. And this is a lonely card. This is a card about loneliness. You don't got no friends. You don't got nobody. You don't got, you're, you're not really going out. You're really just feeling like your life is stale, lackluster. You know what I'm saying? Like you're tired of it. You're tired of being single. Or this is you saying, you know what? I don't want to be a third party. I don't want to be dealing with a uh, fuck boy that's dating multiple people. I don't want to be an option. I don't want to be around people that don't have my best interests in mind. And this is you saying, you know what? It's time for me to um, op be open to newer experiences um, in, within my one-on-one -on -one partnerships and relationships. So you're learning, um, some of you guys, to detach from people places and things that don't serve you and this could again be reversed this could be your masculine um or you're feeling a little bit lonely okay let's clarify community oh <laughs> completion definitely an ending of a community dick um, <clears throat> excuse me <laughs> if he was out here in the community baby <laughs> he's saying you know what i don't want to i don't want to um i don't want to be in a community okay Okay, I, I want to reconcile. <laughs> okay, but there's, there's, so if he was not speaking and expressing his feelings, I feel like somebody needs to, someone wants to take a chance or a risk here, okay, or needs to. Someone needs to come to, to stop not connecting with you. <clears throat> they need to stop distancing themselves from you. They need to stop, or you need to stop, okay? Whoever needs to stop needs to stop, okay? And if you need to get back out there, we have sun, you got to feel confident. And this is what this is about. Someone here is not coming towards you because of money. Okay. Are their values and beliefs are changing surrounding money and materialistic things? Someone here was of the world, be in the world, but not of the world yet. Yeah. Someone here is seeing um, something from a different perspective. So you may have been dealing with someone very superficial, very materialistic, someone that will stay in a relationship because of uh, their values, their, what they perceive as valuable. Door to value is a new job, a new career path, okay? Stability, security. Some of you guys, if you leave a situation, you become more stable, you become more abundant, you become the empress, okay? The cycle is, is, that's tied to this masculine is an old cycle that you have that has ended but you need to detach from it it's time for a new journey because the people in that old cycle are envious of you including your masculine and um people around these people okay because i have people here and i have a masculine are causing your sense of um lack causing you to feel um unworthy not valued not appreciated and you began to believe Right, what was being projected onto you, and that caused you to depreciate and value for self. That caused you not to see your worth. That caused you to feel like you didn't have enough. You weren't enough, right? You were inadequate, or um, you were just very unhappy. So you started to um, want more. You never seemed to be satisfied with what you had, right? And this could be your person of interest. It could have been around people that were just around them because they had money, because they were wealthy. And this could be a woman, and it could be that air sign. Somebody's seen the truth with the sun card, okay? Strong Leo, okay? Scorpio came out, Sagittarius, Taurus with the Hierophant, um, Libra with the Justice card, Pisces. Um, just in case I didn't call out any signs, I'm not paying attention. So we have Courage with the sun card as well. Someone needs to come out their pride and ego, and someone needs to overcome limitations. This could be thoughts, right? This could just be thoughts. See? Spirit says, see something from a different perspective, okay? We have investigation. I'm also seeing that you're being watched by the community. There's people around you, haters, um, people, spectators looking at you. You're going to have a glow up cancer. You're moving away from people. Your value is about to increase. You are walking through the door of value. Not only did you walk through the door of spirit, you're about to come up on some money. You're about to feel very secure, very grounded. Archangel Michael here is saying that I'm protecting you. I'm, I'm, I'm guiding you here. I'm keeping people away from you. Remember, rejection is divine intervention. Um, you have justice coming in. You have balance coming in. And to, divine timing is on your side. So if you've been in a cycle of lack, you're being asked to be optimistic and, feel, and, and to feel empowered. 
that you have overcome a very big challenge. You are completing a cycle successfully, and that is going to bring abundance to you. Okay, but keep in mind that if you stay in this this energy of lack, okay, or staying in this energy of, in the past of what went down or what went wrong or what didn't work, um, it is going to keep you stuck in that old cycle. Now, let me see who this envy envious person might be. Clarify envy. We have now the nurture card is in reverse. We have a baby mama. Um, a pregnant person or mother figure or someone that can't forgive we ooh, there's that money <laughs> I told you spirit says we're trying to bring in abundance we're trying to bring in a gift but there's somebody toxic around you or your person that we need to get rid of first <laughs> she a baby mama she's somebody baby mama she's somebody mama okay clarify nurture compassion we have the two of one someone needs to make a decision King of Cups some of you guys, this is a masculine fire, uh, water sign, someone rising Venus, Jupiter, North Node, that needs to make a decision about something toxic. Tell me about, uh, or you could need, you might need to walk away. Nine of Cups. Okay, so we have um, a new beginning, or someone needs to travel away from something um, with the Nine of Cups, and then we have the Four of Pentacles. This person's holding on to his money. He's not telling somebody on uh, his plans. Okay, some of you guys, this masculine is not telling nobody his plans. He's holding on to his coins. He's hiding money, or he's hiding something. He has a plan. He's building something. He's he's stacking up money. Yeah. Before he comes in, he's trying to get the money. He's trying to get his money right, or making sure he's securing his bag, securing money. There could be someone here that's trying to take him to court. I definitely see. With the justice card, that there could be some sort of court case, um, child support, um, someone may be fighting over custody, children. He's trying to hold on to something, money, stability, children. So he has assets that he's trying to protect. From who? We have high priestess. In reverse, what's under it? Five of, yeah, he's trying to prevent this feeling left out in a cold energy. Someone might be trying to get a, he's trying to get a divorce for some of you guys. Let me show you why that's coming up you guys look at these cards here somebody is trying to put a constraint financially on your person it's an envious woman or man okay show me who's envious show me I got Capricorn star well something will be exposed okay something's faded here um, Aquarius yeah, healing. If you okay, so they're saying if you were living in lack, that's going to be healed. If you were living in lack, um, you're having wish fulfillment. A uh, uh, difficult cycle is over, okay? Or your person, if they were having some finan financial constraints, they're about to get a wish fulfillment. There's some sort of manifestation here with the magician. This is Gemini, Virgo, energy Aries for me too as a reader. Clarify. Yes, someone's walking away from a situation that doesn't serve them. I need you to show me who's walking away and why. Some of you guys, this is you. We have the Page of Pentacles. Someone's going on a new journey. And we have the Knight of Wands, a return. You're getting a message that someone wants to return or you're getting a message. Um, someone is messaging their departure. Ace of Cups. Someone is, yeah, someone's rejecting. Sagittarius is being rejected or... A flighty person or a person that can't be trusted. Yeah. Ten of Wands. Yeah. There's an ending. Six of Swords and a Nine of Swords. Someone's left leaving behind a stressful situation. Someone was feeling burdened by doing all the work. Burdened by some sort of um, emotional distress or mental distress. A very chaotic environment. Very toxic. Someone's walking away from something that was bringing them a lot of emotional discomfort. Okay. Page of Coins is a message. It's an opportunity for a new beginning. It's a fresh start. It's a lesson learned. Okay, someone's learning their lesson here. Um, Spirit, can you um, please grant us one more message? We just want to know about the masculine. I'm going to pull a few cards and then I'm going to move into the extended. In the extended, we're going to look at your person in more details. We're just going to get some more information about how they feel about you. Okay, how they think and feel about the connection. 
I want to also look at blocks and obstacles. And I want to look at what actions they may take or may not take. And I also want to look at the best possible outcome from May. But of course, um, time is cyclical and illusion. So this could play out in a different cycle. This could play out a year from now. Okay, it just depends. This could be something that has already gone down for some of you guys. But uh, because time is cyclical. Some of you guys have already gone through this, and some of you guys are going through it now, or you're about to. Just, just It just depends where you're at. Um, yeah, Spirit says someone is wearing a false mask Okay, in this situation. We have water. Now, this could also represent you having false beliefs. Okay, Some of you guys are dealing with a cancer male. I see a man on that card. And then we have rejection. Yeah. It's definitely seeing something here with someone walking away, having the courage to pack their bags and go here. Someone's wearing a false mask, or it could be a water sign wearing a false mask, or there's a false belief. So the truth is going to be revealed about your worth. Okay. Clarify facade. Okay, there's a message, communication. Someone is realizing that an earth sign is wearing a facade towards Virgo Capricorn, or you could be seeing this um, masculine uh, or water sign. It could be a, a man seeing a feminine water sign, okay, wearing a false mask. It could be vice versa, but someone's a, about to reveal some sort of truth, or truth is going to be revealed through some sort of communication um, in all forms of communication, social media, um, messaging, yeah, someone's going to realize that something's toxic, okay, or there's a pattern of belief that needs to, to, to end. Someone is believing something. Some of you guys could believe that you're always going to be rejected, you're always going to be in this cycle of lack, you're always going to be the last one, uh, last in line, or getting the short end of the stick, or you're always going to experience some sort of loss, always going to be in this energy of grieving. Crying over spill milk. No, that's coming to an end. That cycle's ending. You need to believe that. You need to have courage and be ready for change. Be open for change. Okay. One more, and I'm going to. Um, and this is for your masculine. Your masculine's getting some sort of harvest. We have a structure and we have karma. Yeah, they're getting karma. Financially, is it good or bad? I feel like this person's going to do the right thing when it comes to a foundation um, or offering stability to someone. Good, good or bad karma? Bad. If this person was manipulative, if they, were, if they had hidden tactics or um, or hidden um, a, a, a hidden agenda, it's going to end bad for them. There's going to be an ending of a cycle. Oh, whoever it is you're dealing with. It could be any sign. Libra, Leo, um, Capricorn, Sagittarius is here. Okay. Taurus came out. Scorpio, any water sign. Okay. All right. So let's ask your person what's going down. So when I said financial constraints, I feel like that's your person. It could be the one that's envious or someone around you. Okay. There could be a water sign or an earth sign person that could be envious of you. Okay, that you don't even know. It could be a hidden person that's secretly watching you. Someone in your community. Okay, so are in their community. All right, what do you feel about the person watching? I couldn't let you get close, but I will wait for a sign. Why? I will wait for a sign. Yeah, they couldn't let you get close. Or they could see you this way. They're saying, and I, and I, I shuffled and it came back out. I will wait for a sign. So they're waiting for some sort of indication that they can come in. I feel like you've pulled away. You don't want to be involved in this toxicity. If you you may have already walked away. Yeah, you're very detached. That's what they're saying. You, they, you have detached. So they're waiting for a sign. They want to take a chance towards you, but you have pulled away. Um, some of you guys is an earth sign. Some of you guys, this person wants to offer you an ace of pentacles stability. Um, we have control. Wow. Some of you guys, this person needs to let go of a controlling earth sign person or someone that they're in a relationship with. Clarify these three. I left before you can leave me. 
I wish I could share my good news. They're leaving somebody. What's the good news? Show me the good news. Yeah, they're leaving someone. We need to let each other go. They're leaving somebody that they're in a relationship with. It could be an earth sign. It could be someone they're married to. They have a foundation with this person. Financial constraints. They're going to experience some sort of loss. If they don't walk away from that toxic environment, they're going to experience some sort of loss. And this could also be your message, all right? Um, you, If you don't walk away, you may experience some financial st instability. All right, so in the extended, we're going to look deeper into the situation. If you resonated with this message and you would like to see more, um, please check the description box for the link to my extended video access. You can access the video by renting it for $5.55, or you can sign up for the extended access, which is $10 a month on my website. Or you could go over to Patreon. You can sign up for my extended premium access, which is only eleven eleven. But you also get you get weekly messages. All right. So those are your messages. One more card for how they feel about you. They hope that you could forgive them. All right. So I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for all the support. Please like. Please subscribe to the channel. Bye. So divine timing is at play. It looks like it's your best possible outcome, Cancer. Best possible outcome for Cancer. Blessing, blessing and a new offer is your best possible outcome, Cancer.